Hi, this is David Hunt, Aspect Art. Uh, this evening we're going to have something of a Carl Apple special. This is the week of his 80th birthday, and there are three exhibitions in Holland. We're going to be at two of those, and we're going to speak with Carl Apple. First of all, we're going to go to the Stedelijk Museum, where we're going to see recent paintings by Carl Apple, speak with the curator. And then we're going to Amstelveen, where we'll be looking over his new fountain in front of the Cobra Museum, and we'll be looking at the sculpture of the last 40 years by Carl Apple. So join us now for Carl Apple in Holland in 2001. Thank you very much. Jan Hein, we're here in the Stedelijk. Uh, you're the curator of the new exhibition on Carl Apple's recent works. Could you tell us a little about that? Yes, uh, the reason for this exhibition is, uh, is his 80th birthday. And um, we thought we make not an, an, an retrospective of Carl Apple, but we show his um, uh, wonderful vitality, wonderful almost youth uh, of the last 10, 15 years. So, um, and only paintings, because there are two other venues where in, in uh, Amstelveen, in the Cobra Museum, there are the sculptures. And not many people know he's a sculptor also, but uh, it's a beautiful, he already did it from a very young age. And his drawings are in the Gemeente Museum in Den Haag. Jan uh, the exhibition is primarily focused on Carl Apple's recent works. How do those compare, let's say, to uh, the earlier paintings of Carl Apple? The most, uh, you know, not, I would not say striking difference, but the big difference is that the last 15, 20 years, Carl Appel became an, an, a real, what you get when you're older, a real experienced, mature painter. Not a painter who is repeating himself, but who has uh, mastered the whole, uh, his whole profession in, in a way that he can now do easily what he wants. So it is becoming more... Uh, more, not more quiet. He's, what he, sa he says himself, he's painting slower. He was more like in the 50s, more almost like an action painter. He's, that, he's not that anymore. He's now working in a very, uh, very fast, but not, not that fast anymore way, and he knows exactly what he's doing. And it's not the, the work, when you see it, it's not the work of somebody who, who made it between his 70s and 80s birthday. It's, it's a little bit like Picasso. It looks as if the work is made by a man in his middle age. It does seem vital, and he's still painting large canvases. How is the subject matter? I mean, he's always had a varied subject matter. How is the subject matter different in these paintings? It's not completely different. Um, he he was always talking about he's always talking about paint about the materiality materiality of painting of paint he's talking about man and his relation to the cosmos he's painting he's talking about uh, the sun and the sun giving light opposite and the, and there's the, the the other side of Carl opposite this is his vital uh, life bringing <laughs> way of looking from the other side uh, you have the night the black. Uh, he, say, uh, he says, in daytime, we know we, li we are living, and then the sun goes down, and then it's all, then you know, it's nothing. It's the, uh, like the rest of, of, the, of the universe. We are in darkness. And you see that in paintings. For instance, in the, uh, in the, the, at the stairs, there's hanging a large uh, uh, painting, a black painting with two people standing with the backs to each other's. And it's, uh, it's, I don't know exact title, but it's, I think it's Night, of, of In the Night. And in the 50s, we have a, we have a painting of his real cobra, cobra time. He also had paintings with titles like Night Birds. And they're black, dark. And so he has a, 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 a very light, vital side and a, and, a, and a kind of pessimistic side in his work. And that's what you see. And what I, what I said is, was, is he, his work is not... Um, it's not always an easy, an easy thing. 
and you see it and you're overwhelmed by the by the by the power of color but when you really look you see it's 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 not always beautiful there's sometimes as good art has to be a little bit ugly it's it's not uh, uh, not always easy to 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 conquer for yourself and th that's one of this that's why he's such a strong painter and we choose not to to show smaller paintings we wanted to make a real monumental show and what you see is working in in series uh, he, he, or Tuscan landscapes or, or um, uh, uh, women huh? he, he, he has in his development he always painted after uh, 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 models nude models and he did that in the beginning of the 90s and he worked for a year painting models and not to really literally paint them but to see how the body moves what it does and to give it his own expression and the Carol Apple expression in this way well, speaking of the Carl Apple expression, he's been painting um, more than 60 years now. Um, how will Carl Apple be re remembered in the 20th century as an artist? And will he be a major world painter, international painter? Yes, I think so. The... Um, I think in his generation and, and, and certainly in Europe, he's one of the one of the strongest. And together with with Oscar Jorn, with Dubuffet, uh, he was also the only only painter who was uh, connected with uh, de Kooning and Pollock and, and in this RFML group. And so he he has a, a, a stature that is, uh, I think, will last. And you see that because he's in Holland. <laughs> they, uh, he was om no, not forgotten, but Holland, the, the Netherlands always had a, a difficult relation with him. But he sold his work always in, in, in the United States, in England, in, 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 in Germany, in, in, in France, no, especially in France and Italy. There are large collectors who always collected his work. So um, he is already recognized as a, as a great painter. There's something strange in Holland, isn't it? Yeah, Mondrian, like that. Mondrian couldn't sell a painting to the Stedelijk Museum to no, save his soul. Not true. Well, not very much. Certainly not by, no, like his friend Jan no, different. No, I think, no, and I, th I think in a way it's, there is also something, a different thing, like Karl Appel, Mondrian, like Karl Appel, went to Paris. And why? Because the, the climate in Holland was, uh, yeah, un until the, the 60s, in an Amsterdam too was was that of a was very provincial. So when you really want to go out in the world, you went to Paris or New York, and that's what Mondrian did. He went to Paris. What Carl Appel did, he went to Paris. Did Not only because of the trouble here, but also that was the big city. Amsterdam wasn't the big city. I mean, in in thinking, it never had been a big city. But <laughs> in thinking, it was a small city, and that changed, of course, in the last. 20, 45, 50 years. But in the, the, the first exhibitions were here in the state, like, also for him. And, the, and, and he, he, Holland was so bourgeois, so that's why in Holland they still are talking about Cobra. I mean, what Karl Appel said, and, and, and that was okay. You, they were just a small group and wanted to push their ideas, and they were individuals. So after two years, Cobra was gone. And for Oscar Jorn, it was also a moment in his career for Alashinsky too but in Belgium and Denmark there was not an opposition against modern art but here they said uh, have famous things my, ch my child can also do that and there was typical Dutch and, and Karel Appel once said I don't know how to translate it in in, um, in English he said once in Dutch he said in, a, in an interview he said ik rotzooi maar wat aan I just uh, I just make a mess uh, I'm, 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 I'm just messing around. No, that, that's what I, what is, that's literally. I'm, I'm just messing around. So everybody thought, ah, this apple, he says, he makes a lot of money abroad because he made it. That was also another thing. He made it. And by just messing around. <laughs> so the people didn't understand what it was all about. Didn't that go good the, with that Calvinist spirit. No, no. Well, thank you very much for talking with us today. It's a wonderful exhibition, and uh, the best of luck with it. Thank you very much. Okay.